Season 5 has dropped and it's the same old war zone. Or is it? We're going to look at some of the key changes made during the latest update that don't involve weaponry. I've said it before, for that stuff, go to the experts. But that's not all. Hang around to the end of the video for the latest update on the Modern Warfare 3 reveal. Okay, let's get going. Before we get started guys, make sure you like the video, sub to the channel and turn on notifications for when I next upload. Also, write something in the comments. I do respond to everything. Let me know what you guys are most looking forward to in Season 5. The first event of Season 5 kicks off on the 4th of August with Faction Showdown. Choosing either Task Force 141 or the Shadow Company, the faction with the most eliminations wins. If you complete all five challenges for each faction, you win a Mastery Reward unlock, and you can change factions at any time. Complete all the challenges for every faction, you win some additional rewards. Potentially not quite an event, but if you look closely at the Battle Pass, you'll see another restricted section similar to what it was in Season 4. And what happened there with the mid-season update, it unlocked and you had to use Battle Pass tokens in order to unlock a new weapon. I'm assuming that's what's going to happen for this one in the mid-season update as well. Out with guns, the most requested change from some, not all, of the Call of Duty community is movement change. The nostalgic request of movement being similar to Warzone 1 and Verdansk may actually be listened to by the developers. Within the latest update, the slide time has actually been decreased, but the speed has actually been increased. This essentially means the player can cover the same amount of distance, but in a much quicker time. It's also been noted that players can actually start shooting a lot quicker within the slide animation. This doesn't reset tactical, sprint, or anything like that, but I would expect your TikTok timelines to be filled with slide kills and ankle breaking movement. There's also been a small change to jumping. Yep, that's right, the start of the bunny hop is returning to Warzone 2. There's been a small increase to the lateral velocity boost, it's really difficult for me to say, also a reduction in the landing slowdown penalty. So basically slightly more speed when you jump, and less of an impact when you land. Is this something we need in Warzone? Well, from an average Call of Duty player, no. No, it's not. Although I'm not going to talk about weapons, there has been a few changes to certain equipment and perk packages within Warzone. And these changes could affect how you play and also the opponents that you're coming up against. The drill charge, which has been a staple of the Warzone rank community, has been nerfed. There's been a reduction in damage from the drilling when you stick someone with a drill charge. So what this used to do is it used to give you a bigger chance of killing the person when it actually explodes. So if this has actually been reduced, you've got to ask yourself the question, what's the point in the drill charge? The biggest change in perk has got to be that of the bomb squad perk. And what this could mean is an increase of our favourite rat in Warzone, the Riot Shielder. Bomb squad will protect you from death from explosive equipment that's been stuck directly to you when fully armoured. So the strategy of Semtex the shield is not going to work. Better start aiming for those legs, people. Now we move on to the things that nobody asked for, the UI change. There's been three major updates to the UI. Number one is an updated landing page. What this allows players to do is jump between specific rows for different game modes. So Warzone has their own row, which you can actually go into certain playlists. Multiplayer has their own rows, which again, you can go into certain playlists from in there. Again, is it going to make a difference? Probably not, but it's a nice UI change. Also, a skin carousel has been added to the lobby, so any time that you want to change your skin, so if you've got the Black Cell skin for a particular character, you can change that while looking for a match. Again, it's a nice to, it's a nice to have, but, you know, is it necessary? Probably not. And again, the, the, probably the strangest one that's been added is a combat detail widget. So, so it tells you if you've been shot by multiple people at one time, so you can actually see who gets the final kill and who gets the most damage. I mean, everybody's got one of those people that will come in, get the last two HP and get that final kill, right? Now the part of the video that you're really interested in. Data miners have found reference to a banner stating the worldwide reveal of Modern Warfare 3 is going to be on August 17th. So this is around two weeks before the mid-season update, which will no doubt feed into the lore of Modern Warfare 2. Again, it is rumoured the fact it's going to be a limited time playlist, which makes sense. Um, very similar to how Verdansk ended when it was going into Cold War. Again, when we get more information, we'll make another video on it. There is a lot more stuff happening in Season 5. Check out the link in the description to the patch notes. Also, let me know about Season 5. What do you think of it? Is it a hit? Is it a miss? As ever, guys, if you like the video, like the video. Sub to the channel, turn on notifications. It lets you know when I next upload. Nothing left to say. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.